Cancer, thank you for tuning in to Perfectly Imperfect Tarot. This is Green Eyes here to give you a reading. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Martians, Astronauts, pick a note. It does not matter to me. I love you all. Cross Watchers, I am a snitch. I'm telling you now, please don't curse me in the comments. All right? Love you too. Cancers, this is a judgment-free zone, but you will hear the truth. No gender or age, only energy. You're going to hear me use terms he, she, her, him, they, them, it, have to pay it, no mind. Feel the energy and remember roles can always be reversed. Cancers, I thank you. Like, share, subscribe, emails, comments, love tokens, and donations. Thank you. Thank you so much. I truly appreciate you. Even when y'all telling me off. A couple y'all told me off on your last read. <laughs> you said it was too short. All right, let's see what we can do today. Let's talk about your energy. Um, it feels. Uh, how can I say this? It's it, planning, planning. Let's say it like that. Um, I think you're giving somebody room, a rope to hang. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, room to, yeah, like room to set themselves up or um, let's see what happens. You know, that this kind of like you're just sitting back, watching, waiting, listening because um, you know what's to come or waiting for your opportunity. OK, um, it feels more March, April ish, like this is your season. I'm going to give you that, but we'll see what happens. You, you know what I mean? That's how it feels. It feels not really vindictive, but more so like empowering, like seductress, burlesque kind of energy. Like I know who I am. I know this. I know that. And I also know that uh, you'll be back. So, no, I'm not worried. And. It's almost as if you're planning the 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 conditions on the comeback. <laughs> so let's see what's going on. Center energy, please, for Cancer. We're pulling from the dreams of Gaia for an oracle message today. Cancer, please. And this is a big deck. Ugh. And I'm working with stubs here, y'all. Cancer, please. Cancer. Where are you, Cancers? Hmm. Nothing from the dreams of Gaia. I can't even smell nothing. Oh, hello. Damn. All that for that. Whew. Okay. Um, emotions just popped out. I said, <laughs> but it's cancer energy, so it, it's definitely appropriate. Uh, the thing about with the dreams of Gaia, though, yeah, this is the new you coming in. Um, the thing about the dreams of Gaia with this energy, with emotions, it's um, not kind of like uh, crying or anything like that. It's more, it's very um, kind of judgmental. So you may feel like you're being hard on yourself right now. I have to say that. You might be telling yourself, I'm not stupid, but I shouldn't have did that. You know, things like that, okay? Heavy, heavy spiritual presence is here. Um, yeah. Somebody, you know, I have to say, Cancers, if you told your angels, ancestors, you prayed to God uh, on uh, a relationship or injustice in your life, let's say it like that, on an injustice in your life, um, your prayer is has been heard, that's for sure. That is absolutely for sure, my love. Huh. But if you're going to pray about it, that means you got to let it go. Okay? If you pray about it, then you let it go. Because the energy that I was coming into earlier was you actually planning 
a reaction or planning some type of action towards this energy. And But if you're praying about it, you got to let it go, babe. Okay? Youth coming in. So I like this. New beginnings. Um, you might be trying something new, doing something different. Youth energy is very exploratory. Um, it's a heavy boomstick energy, so very passionate, forward moving. Um, and you just want to see what's on the other side of the mountain. Look at this. Planting seeds with the three of earth. Teamwork, making a dream work. Maybe therapy. I have to say that as well. Um, but this is an energy. I'm going to start working on things that's going to produce fruit that's going to feed me there's your there's that yeah baby that do yeah cancers those of you that are in a rocky relationship or situationship or some type of ship <laughs> i have to say you have a worthy adversary my love and i'm not going to downplay this energy all right i don't even want to touch this five of air because i don't want it on me i ain't gonna lie um, yeah, or five, uh, earth rather. Shoot. You know, it's a worthy adversary. This person is very tricky, very smart, very, um, cunning, very manipulative. You know, the person in the background that he had, he's in full color. He done suck the life out of her. Uh, like literally he just sucked the color out of her she don't even she's not even in color no more hello she's just blending in with the with the gray and he's holding the cards he's holding the jewels and i have to say that i think this might be why you're being so kind of detailed in your plan because you know your adversary and while I do respect it in Cancers, I know you guys are very capable of uh, revenge or grudges. I know you're very capable. You know how to dance. You know how to dance. So if they want to dance, you, you'll dance with them and dance circles around them. But if you prayed about it, you got to let it go. It's one or the other. Mm. Yep. Masculine feminine energy is under there. So uh page of fire. You got to let it go, babe. New beginnings are right behind it. Let's see what's in the spread. Maybe we can get some more details because I don't like how this is feeling. And it's not that I'm doubting you guys. Um, I just think that... With this youth energy, with all that you have new coming in and going on, I don't want to see you go backwards. Page of Pentacles fell out. I don't want to see you lose an opportunity because you're caught up in a past um, injustice. You know what I'm saying? And that concerns me. Center, please, for Cancer. The Queen of Cups. I like that. See, look at all that power. Self-love. I told you, you guys feel pretty good. You feel pretty good to me. You're in your element. You're in your power. You're focused on yourself. And I love that. I love the fact that you, like I said, are coming into some type of exploratory energy, starting um, some new things. Tower at the bottom of the deck. We have the, and the three of swords. I told you, if you're having relationship issues right now, you will heal from this with the temperance angel coming right in behind that broken heart to pour into you, to assist you on the journey towards happiness. But you might not see it like this at first with that moon energy, but I need you to expect it. Okay. Um, but what you expect is some kind of confrontation with this king. Uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy, you expect for them to be harsh or them to say this or say that. And then, you know, and, and, you know, they're going to love you again, you know, like you're the one with that four of wands and you'll be trying to decide of whether or not you want to start over with them because maybe they were cruel or abusive or overbearing, you know, at the same time, 
you're still manifesting new beginnings. So, you know, which one is it? I love you guys. I mean, we just talking. Let's finish the spread. Let's see where this is going before I jump the gun. Crown the energy, please. Hello. And I have a King of Pentacles and a Page of Cups. So we have an apology or some type of emotional offer coming in. And I like it. It smells old, though. Hmm. Yeah, it smells old. Um, maybe a father figure or a, a old uh, acquaintance, a companion of some sort with that King of Pentacles energy. Some type of apology or some type of emotional offer. You know, maybe just, I just want to let you know that, you know, uh, I don't know, we're cool. Maybe it's a text. Maybe it's a phone call. Let's have some lunch. You know, pages, it's a very small um, offer. Okay, so no, I'm not impressed especially with this empress at the bottom of the deck, because I'm going to tell you how I'm feeling this. This is, for me, um, is like you're looking at this king and the offer that he's making as something small, and it's not equal to what he's capable of giving. Now, a king of pentacles is very loyal, very grounded, and very stable energy. So if he's making an offer to you of any type of emotion or a tangible offer, you expect for it to be worthy of an empress. That's how I'm seeing this. You understand what I'm saying? But that's what he's giving. I ain't gonna lie. What's working against cancers right now? Judgment in reverse. You got to let this thing go. You're not letting it go. You're not letting something go or somebody is not letting you go because you have a plan with this queen of wands energy. Either you're, you're, you see, she's a planner. This is the energy that you plan to embody when you have to face that five of earth, that trickster. You already, like right now, you're in the love part, you know? But you're planning to embody this energy and it's going to work against you because you need to let this go. I'm not going to lie. You prayed about it, so you have to let God do it. Let him do what he do, okay? Let God be God. You be cancer. Where's this coming from? Past and Somebody played with you. Yeah, yeah. You don't like to play. We don't play all the time. All right? You want to play? Play the lottery. <laughs> there you go at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, somebody played with you. They actually played a game like, what is it called? Um, like, na 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 you can't, na 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 You know, it, it, it's very petty. Very, very petty. And your uh, answer to this was... I'm just going to chill. I'm going to do me. I'm going to see you're looking forward to the future. You know, you're not looking back. But at the same time, I feel that, like I said, I feel the plan. You know, I feel the plan. Future energy, please, for cancer. Where are we going with this? And the fool is in reverse. And that's Aries, Aquarian energy and the wheel of fortune. You said, well, you know what? I ain't going to do nothing. I'm going to see what happens. So basically, you're going to let karma deal with this. That's what this is coming out to with that Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, you're going to let this uh, karma deal with this person that tried to kind of like isolate you or abandon you or used you as an option with that Two of Pentacles. But overall, you know, the light still shines in your favor because you stayed in favor because you stayed in righteousness, because you stayed in the bosom, Aquarian energy with the star. So this is healing and balance coming to you, as well as limelight energy of favor. Even though somebody is trying to be, play some games here and, you know, some word games and mind games and all of that stuff. See, your angels see what that person is trying to hide or what they're trying to get away with. Your angels see that. And the only thing that does is uh, empower divine motion and movement in your life, uh, right into your core energy of the chariot and, and the happiness and bliss and illumination of the sun. So yes, hello. I like this. Now let's talk about money. Hmm. 
All right, conversation over. <laughs> I love you. I love you. So you look, sometimes you got to laugh. Shoot. I ain't gonna lie. Um, you know, you may be stressed about money uh, because it seems like you have a steady income, but it's not growing and it's not getting faster. But it's steady, but it's not enough. Like it's enough, but it's not enough. It's coming, but not fast enough. It's growing, but not fast. Like, you understand what I'm saying? Um, but this new idea that you're kind of like you're you're tapping into a passion so some type of new creativity that you have going on with this uh page of pentacles stand on that for a while with the seven of wands and you'd be surprised where it leads you yeah you'd be surprised so we definitely have that see now the <laughs> i told you you're going to come into this fire energy <laughs> um I like this queen that feels better though now that she has this king here. So you might be making a new love connection or just a new connection period. This is a suited pair, the king and queen of wands. But let me tell you, these two here out of all the couples, they don't really need their partner. It's not personal, but they're just very focused on life, very focused on work, very focused on you know, their kingdom. They take a partner by choice alone. They don't need no one, you know? Um, so I do like the fire matching here and that might be something, you know, fun for you. Look at that new beginning. Whoa, oh, that yeah, might be real fun. Good Lord. How, do you see this boom stick? This boom boom stick right here? Phew, Kansas. Shama la la mother loving ding dong. Yes. Yeah. Have fun with that one, baby. Um, other than that, though, the, you know, on a serious tip, it, even if it, this is like a really kind of great friendship or, uh, you know, whatever situation ship, it's a ship. I'm gonna tell you that it's a ship, but it's a good ship because it's going to introduce you to new things. Um, new people, new places, new focus, you know, with this boomstick energy, this is fertile. So see, it births life-changing events. Ace of Wands energy, I love it. And so do you, Nine of Cups. It's close to the 10. It ain't the 10, but it's darn close, okay? So I like that. And it seems like that power and passion changes your financial um, status too. Yeah, sometimes it's about your energy. It's like that power and passion of that that fire is going to like really get you in the grind of uh your finances or your work or your work ethic or a new job or side hustle or whatever the case is because your finances definitely start changing. But if there's nobody that knows how to get to a bag, it's a dag on fire sign. I'm going to tell you that right now. Woo! But it's others, but fire signs, they just really, when they're in the when they're in focus, they're completely in focus. All right. Guys, I love you so much. I hope this helps. If in the event you say green eyes, I don't know you, you don't know me. This doesn't resonate. I'm okay with that. All right. Please check your moon, check your rising. Don't take the energy with you if it's not for you. Just leave it here for another cancer, okay? Everybody thumbs up, subscribe. Make sure you guys are notified of future readings. It is free and it supports the channel. Remember, we are all perfectly imperfect. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye.